Maraming salamat sa patuloy na pagtutok sa aming Project SOAR Week 5, series of online academic reviews of claimed learning modules. Kanina ay ating natunghayan ang mahusay at malino na pagpapaliwanag ni Sir Larry ng Grade 5 Advanced Lessons. Ngayon naman ay ating kilalanin ang ating teacher reviewer for Grade 6. Ang teacher reviewer natin for Grade 6 ay nagtapos ng bachelor's degree at Don Mariano Marcos Memorial State University. He is currently taking up his master's degree at the National Teachers College, major in elementary mathematics. He is a 2019 MTOP Dep and NCR Exemplary Mathematics Teacher, a Regional MTOP Demonstration Teacher, Regional MTOP Facilitator and Speaker, MTOP Contest Trainer, and at the same time, our school's Mathematics Coordinator for the Elementary Department. Our teacher reviewer for Grade 6, Mr. Roy P. Haudalso. Magandang araw, Mandunong Kids, at sa lahat ng ating home learning partners. Muli, ako si Teacher Roy, ang inyong makakasama para sa advanced lesson ng Week 5 para sa Grade 6. Ihanda na ang inyong mga modules, lapis at papel, at tayo'y magsisimula na. Matsayang mag-aral, tayo na ang matuto. Once again, welcome to Grade 6, Week 5. At the end of our session, you are expected to describe the exponent and the base in a number expressed in exponential notation and give the value of numbers expressed in exponential notation. Alam natin na ang multiplication ay ang shortcut addition when you need to add the same number to itself over and over again Multiplication is a shortcut way to write the addition problem. Ngayon naman, let us have powers. Ang powers ay ang shortcut multiplication. When you need to multiply the same number to itself over and over again, powers are a shortcut way to write the multiplication problem. So instead of multiplying 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 equals 32, use the power 2 to the 5th power and get the same answer, 32. Power is a number written as a base number with an exponent. Ito ang ating base at exponent. Like this. This is read as 2 to the 5th power. When we say base, it is the repeated factor in a multiplication problem. For example, let us have 2 to the 5th power. Ang base natin sa 2 to the 5th power ay 2. At ang exponent ay 5. Gagamitin natin ang 2 bilang factor. So 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is equal to 32. Ang exponent naman is the number of times the base is multiplied by itself. Sa ating example na 2 to the 5th power, ang 2 ang ating base at ang exponent ay 5. Kaya, imumultiply natin ang 2 by itself ng limang beses. So 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is equal to 32. Tandaan, ang 2 to the 5th power is not equal to 2 times 5. Ang 2 to the 5th power ay hindi rin equal to 10. Kundi, ang 2 to the 5th power is equal to 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is equal to 32. Paano ba natin basahin ang powers and exponents? Normally, say the base number to the exponent number which is expressed as ordinal number and the word power. Example, we will say 2 to the 5th power. Our ordinal numbers are the following. First, second, third, fourth, 5th, and so on. 
meron din tayong tinatawag na squared. Example, we will say 6 to the second power or 6 squared. 6 squared is 6 times 6 equals 36. Meron din tayong tinatawag na cube. Example, we will say 5 to the third power or 5 cube. 5 cube is equal to 5 times 5 times 5 equals 125. Now let us answer this activity. Express the following expanded forms in exponential notation or power. How to read them? Let us also identify the base and exponent and their values. Let's have 9 times 9. The exponential notation is, and we read this as, 9 squared or 9 to the second power. The base is 9 and the exponent is 2. The value of 9 times 9 is 81. Very good. Next, 7 times 7 times 7. The exponential notation is, and we read this as, 7 cubed or 7 to the 3rd power. The base is 7 and the exponent is 3. The value of 7 times 7 times 7 is 343. Next, 5 times 5 times 5 times 5. The exponential notation is, and we read this as, 5 to the 4th power. The base is 5 and the exponent is 4. The value of 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 is 625. Very good. The last one, 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. The exponential notation is, and we we'll read this as, 3 to the 5th power. The base is 3 and the exponent is 5. The value of 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 is 243. Very good! Let us have another activity. Direction. Identify the base and exponent of the following expressions. Let's start with 4 to the 6th power. The base is 4 and the exponent is 6. Very good. Number 2. 5 cubed or 5 to the 3rd power. The base is 5 and the exponent is 3. Good job! Number 3, 7 to the 4th power. The base is 7 and the exponent is 4. Correct! Number 4, 9 to the 5th power. Our base is 9 and our exponent is 5. Very good! And number 5, 10 squared or 10 to the 2nd power. Our base is 10 and our exponent is 2. Very good. Next activity, write the following expressions in exponential form, then find their values. Let's start. Number 1, 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. The exponential form is 2 to the 4th power. And the value is 16. Very good. Number 2, 5 times 5 times 5. The exponential form is 5 cubed or 5 to the 3rd power. And its value is 125. Correct. Number 3, 8 times 8 times 8 times 8. The exponential form is, yes, it's 8 to the 4th power, and its value is 4,096. Very good. Number 4. 
10 times 10 times 10. The exponential form is 10 cubed or 10 to the third power. And its value is 1,000. Correct! Number 5. 4 times 4 times 4 times 4 times 4. The exponential form is 4 to the 5th power. And its value is 1,024. Very good! Now for our last activity, Express the following bases and exponents in exponential notation, expanded form, and give their values. Number 1, base is 7, exponent is 2. The exponential notation is 7 squared or 7 to the second power. The expanded form is 7 times 7. And the value is 49. Very good. Next, Base is 9, exponent is 3. The exponential notation is 9 cubed or 9 to the second power. The expanded form is 9 times 9 times 9. And the value is 729. Correct. Next, base is 5, exponent is 4. The exponential notation is 5 to the 4th power. The expanded form is 5 times 5 times 5 times 5. And the value is 625. Correct! Next, base is 6 and exponent is 2. The exponential notation is 6 is squared or 6 to the 2nd power. The expanded form is 6 times 6 and the value is 36 very good and the last one base is 3 exponent is 5 the exponential notation is 3 to the fifth power the expanded form is 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 and the value is 243 correct Remember, power is a number written as a base number with an exponent. And base is the repeated factor in a multiplication problem. While exponent is the number of times the base is multiplied by itself. At dyan, nagtatapos ang ating advanced lesson para sa week 5. Para sa inyong mga katanungan, magpadala lamang ng mensahe sa ating official Facebook page, Math Team, Mathematics Teachers Association of Mandaluyong, o kaya naman ay sa inyong mga mathematics teachers. Muli, ako si Teacher Roy na nagsasabing, matsayang mag-aral, tayo nang matuto. Hanggang sa muli, paalam! At dyan nagtatapos ang Project SOAR Week 5. Maraming salamat sa lahat ng mga nakasama namin para sa araw na ito. Pasasalamat sa aming Education Program Supervisor, Mr. Resty I. Rodelas, para sa tiwalang ibinigay ninyo sa Team IBs. Pasasalamat din sa aming very supportive school head, Mr. Joseph B. Alegre. Kami ang Team Ilaya Barangka Integrated School. Gurong Ilaya, magaling yan!